Perforator flap surgery um, involves identifying a dominant vessel that supplies blood to an area of skin and fat which you are going to use for breast reconstruction. Um, very often, um, most women will have spares in the tummy. So the commonest type of perforator flap we use is what we call a deep inferior epigastric perforator flap, DIEP. Um, so what it involves is you identify the do dominant vessel, the largest one, um, and you trace the vessel, tease it and free it off its muscle uh, and get a sufficient length so that you can disconnect and reconnect it um, in the chest. Um, thereafter, shaping uh, to form the breast um, like its uh, original shape or to match the other side is, is done uh, much like the same way as other flaps. Um, the TUG stands for transverse upper gracilis. Um, this uses uh, skin as well as fat uh, from the upper inner thigh and the blood supply comes through the gracilis muscle which is often sacrificed um, as well um, in this surgery but uh, we find that there's very little morbidity in losing this muscle. Um, it is very useful for um, smallish size breasts with little tosis so um, it's actually quite suitable for um, women who are of, uh, Asian women um, because uh, the, the body morphology matches. Yeah. The, the, the breasts are relatively small and they tend to have enough in the thigh to have a good match.